gosh. I'm a little bit out of breath because I'm practicing for the marathon, you know. It's kind of like life. You gotta work hard, you gotta go, you gotta persevere, and making it to the end is not easy sometimes. Sometimes you just wanna take a break, you wanna give up. It really is like life. Well, I've got some great students here. They're here, they persevere, they're patient, and of course, they wanna make it to the end and become a super kid. Where are you guys from? Well, I've heard a lot of good things about these guys. Let's see if they're true. Are you guys ready to start? Yeah. All right, let's get the show on the road. Let's begin. Let's meet today's Super Kids Challengers. It's Boy Elementary School in Gangnam Gu, Seoul. One of the best school in town, Poi Elementary School. Hey, hey, where are you going? What's this long line for? Aha! It's Poi's Autumn Exhibition Festival. Wow, there are so many. Hey, what are you writing down? Let me see. Oh, ho, ho, did you make this teddy bear? Unbelievable. Writing. And writing again. Looks so serious, you guys. Drawing hard. And working hard. Of course, studying hard. Even exercising hard. Hey, what is the name of this school again? It's Poi Elementary School. Stay tuned to check out how good the students really are. for a Super Speed Quiz. A 60 second time limit. The more scores there are, the better. I spoke earlier of a marathon. Right now it's time to do some sprinting. Take as many points as you can to the next round. No elimination, but you want to get mega points. To help us is a mega, mega <laughs> important lady, great lady. It's Callie. Hi, Callie. Hi, Isaac. It's great to be here. The students from Poi Elementary sure do look smart. Let's see what they've got. Okay. She's ready. Let's see if they're ready. All right. Can I ask what your team name is? My team name is April Team. Okay. And your name? My name is Byung Ho. All right, and what's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is baseball. Baseball? Do you have a favorite position? Oh, my favorite position is pitcher. Is a pitcher. Fantastic. Let's see if you can pitch a strike here. Here we go. All right, it's a toy. You put it on your finger and you play with it like this. Yo, yo. Very good. <laughs> All right, it's a fruit. It's red. Snow White ate it. Uh, watermelon. Okay. <laughs> What is this? I read a book. Very good. All right, the opposite of true is? Horse. Good. Under the, under the. See. Very good, all right. Excellent. And this is from Korea. It's like martial arts, you. Hey, hey, hey. Taekwondo. Very good, all right. And you give yourself a, give me a. What am yes. I doing? Okay, um, it's an animal. It's black and white stripes. Kind of like a sweater, very good. <laughs> all right, what am I doing? What am I? Okay, very good. All right, it's round, and a car has four of them. A car? Yes. Okay, and this is an imaginary animal that breathes fire. Dragon. Very good. Great All right, job. opposite of dark. Uh, sun. Sun, light. Very good. All right, what is this? Teeth. Very good. All right, red, blue. Oh! oh. Very good job. Very good job, of course. That fruit that was eaten by Snow White was not a watermelon. <laughs> it was an apple. Yes, very good job. Let's see how many points they got. It looks like they got uh, 10 <laughs> points. Great job. Next team. <laughs> it's time for the second team to give it their all. Let's see who they are. Hi, what's your team name? Lemon Team. And your name? Jung Yoon Kim. OK, do you like to read? Yeah. What kind of things do you like to read? Comic books. Fantastic. Hey, I've seen some great comic books here in Korea. And let's see how well you do starting now. 
All right, what am I doing? Sleeping. Great, okay. A giraffe has a really long neck. Very good. All right, what am I doing in the air? Flying. Very good. All right, not a plate, but a? Dishes. Very good. All right, somewhere over the? Rainbow. Very good, all right. You need this when it rains. Oh, I don't want Rainbow. to get wet. Very good. Okay, no. good. Next, do you wear this on your wrist and you see what time it is? What? All right, not cheap, but when it costs a lot of money. Fact? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Past, present, blank. Pass. Okay, oh. not running, but looking. Okay, you run for a very long time. It's the last game in the Olympics. And let's see, Huang Yong Cho. It's an event. You run. Marathon. Very good. It, the. Oh! Very good job, very good job. Yes, indeed. Marathon, quite a theme today. And what was that one question? When it rains, you need a rainbow? <laughs> no, you need an umbrella. Very, very good. Okay, total of eight points. Not bad. Let's have the next team. Okay, we're halfway through this speed quiz sprint. Not easy to say. Let's meet our next team. Hi, what's your team name, red guy? Chewy Team. <laughs> nice color. Okay, what's your name? My name is Dong Kim. Okay, do you have a favorite food? Yes. What is it? Uh, it's rice. Excellent. Gotta have rice. Okay, here we have the quiz right now. All right, the opposite of goodbye. Uh, when you first see someone, you say? Hi. Close. All right, a place, and you see all kinds of animals. You go to the? Lots of animals. Pass. Okay. okay. Not, not lose, but when you're number one. Win. Very good. Okay. All right, what am I doing when I'm in a car Driving. and I'm? Driving. Okay, good. Right. Traditional Korean clothes. Hanbok. Very good. All right, not pepper, but it's white, and there's a lot of it in kimchi. Cheese? No. Okay. okay, nice try. Opposite of long. Opposite of tall. Short. Very good. Fantastic. All right, it's a fruit. It's small and red, and you make jam out of it a lot. Fruit. Strawberry. Very okay. good. All right, it's not a fork. It's not a spoon, but you Chopstick. Use... Okay, very okay. good. Now, it absorbs water, and you use it to clean a lot. It absorbs water. Tissue. Okay. Close. All right, we eat this every day. It's white. Rice. Yeah! yeah! Very good. Whew. Right at the end, you got your favorite food, rice. Fantastic. So, let's add up all the points. It looks like seven. Pretty good. Great. Let's have the next team. The final team is ready to run. Let's run and see who they are. Hi, what's your team name? Orange team. And your name? Park Ji Young. Hi. What do you like to do in your free time? Computer game. Okay. Are you good at those games? Uh, not really. Oh, well, hopefully you're good at this game. Let's begin. All right. The opposite of the opposite of heat. Uh, pass. Okay. In the morning, you drink orange blank. Pass. All right. You go here when you're sick. It's a big Hospital. building. Hospital. Very good. Okay. What am I doing? Dance. All right. Good. All right. What? I'm trying to listen. Very good. All right. Four leaf blank is very lucky. It's a plant. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, you look at a clock to see what blank it is. Time. Very good. Wait. All right, you eat this with jam. You Bread. Very good. Okay. All right, five players in a basketball blank. Pass. Soft. Okay. All right, there's a lot of sand and no water. Lots of camels are here. Lots Desert. of- Desert. Very good. Wait. All right, the opposite of water, when something burns, there's a hot and red. Okay, oh. now you use this to wash your hair. Chomp. Good, okay, oh. you go here. There's swings and slides and kids play uh, here. Play! Oh. Very, very good. Excellent effort, excellent effort. As a matter of fact, I think they may have done as well as the last team. Let's see, mm, seven points. Fantastic job, guys. Excellent, excellent. Now, let's say, Thank you to the lady who helped us our, during our sprint, our speed quiz. It is Callie. Thanks, Callie. No, thank you. I had a really great time, and good luck to the students at Poi Elementary. Bye, guys. See you later.
Okay, let's go to the next round. False. Press the true or false button about one same topic. Get two points with correct answers, but lose a point if you're wrong. True or false time, and it is actually time for a theme. Our theme today is, well, let me give you a hint. Bring, bring. This is one of my dreams. Bring, bring. Yes, this is Isaac. Nobel Prize? Really? Just a dream, but who knows that dream may come true for any one of our participants here today. Who are they? Let's check out the teams. We have Apple and Kiwi team. Apple brought with them 10 points. Kiwi, lucky number seven. We'll see what happens. Here is our first Nobel Prize true or false quiz question. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded in Sweden. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded in Sweden. All right, we've got answers. The correct answer is false. Very good job. They both got it right. You know what? It's the only Nobel Prize awarded in Norway. Ooh, that was tricky. Very good job. Okay, guys, do the little shift. Next couple comes up. Those guys go to the back. Both teams have gotten a couple more points, and we have another question. The Nobel Prizes can only be awarded to individuals, not organizations. The Nobel Prizes can only be awarded to individuals, not organizations. Oh, once again, same answer. Let's see if that's the correct answer. Yes, it is. All right, very good. Both got it, so they're moving up a couple of points. Actually, the Peace Prize is awarded to both individuals and organizations. Very, very good. Here's the next question. Once the prize winners are selected, the decision cannot be changed. Once the prize winners are selected, the decision cannot be changed. Oh, a little delay there. And as a matter of fact, different answers. Okay, let's see. The correct answer is true. Oh, that is true. Once the decision's made, that is it. Okay, obviously some point changes happening there. Apple gets a couple more. Kiwi got a minus there. All right, let's have the next question. There is a Nobel Prize for art. There is a Nobel Prize for art. All right, same answer. Let's see what the correct answer is. False. That's right. There's no such category yet. Who knows, maybe in the future, but right now, mm -mm, no such category. All right, is this the final question we shall see. Here it is. Turkish writer Orhan Pamuk won the 2006 Nobel Prize in Literature. The Turkish writer Orhan Pamuk won the 2006 Nobel Prize in Literature. Same answer again. The correct answer is true. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it means that Apple had 20 points. Kiwi, not bad, but 14, a little less than Apple. So Apple moves on to the next round. <laughs> the first two teams showed that they have a lot of knowledge about this topic. Great topic, Nobel Prize. Let's see what the next two teams have got. Lemon came with eight points. Orange, very close behind with seven. We don't know what's gonna happen. Could change, could go back and forth. We've seen it many times. Right now, we gotta get to the first question. You can receive the Nobel Prize more than once. You can receive the Nobel Prize more than once. 
All right, looks like they've got the same answer. Let's see what the correct answer is. Yes, indeed, very good. You can receive it more than once. That's another one of my dreams. We'll see if that comes true. <laughs> okay, let's have the next question. The Nobel Prizes are awarded every two years. The Nobel Prizes are awarded every two years. Let's check it out. Same answer. The correct answer is... That's right. False. They are awarded every single year. We shall see what happens in the future. That seems to be the tradition which they will maintain. All right, next question. Alfred Nobel was a Norwegian scientist. Alfred Nobel was a Norwegian scientist. All right, the answer is false. Okay. That means things are going to change. Things are going to change. Okay, looking at the score. Ooh, now there's been a switch. That's right. Lemon has fallen behind. They were leading. Orange now leads. Oh, my goodness. See? Anything can happen. Actually, the answer is that he was a Swedish man, by the way, for all you guys studying out there like myself. Okay, let's see. We've got another question. Let's have it. No Koreans have received a Nobel Prize. No Koreans have received a Nobel Prize. Both have the same answer. The correct answer is false. Very good. I think all Koreans know it's common knowledge that former President Kim Dae-jung did receive the Nobel Peace Prize in the year 2000. Okay, now we've got one more question, or do we? Let's see. The Nobel Peace Prize was established later than the other categories. The Nobel Peace Prize was established later than the other categories. Okay, both have the same answer. The correct answer is false. Whoa. Okay, so they both got it wrong. As a matter of fact, it's the Nobel Prize in Economics that was added later on. So what happens, since they both got a minus one, looks like Lemon has 12, Orange came out with 14, and that means they're moving on to the next round! Hey guys, do you know what people call our school instead of our school name? Instead of school? No. Mm, I know. A motherly school, a fatherly school. That's right. We have parents who give us unconditional love at home, and we have our school that nurtures us in its own way. You're right. I feel that Poi Elementary is very dedicated to each and every one of the students. So, off we are to show off our school! Our school always thinks first of the student's health. This is why we have our own built-in gym and swimming pool. It's so easy to work out or go swimming with our friends here at Pui. I heard our swimming coach is not only a great swimmer, but also a great fatherly figure. Yeah, our caring and humorous swimming coach, he makes swimming double the fun.
This is our school supplies distribution counter. I bet none of our viewers have heard of such a thing. Probably so. I heard you can get all kinds of educational supplies here for free. That's right. Poor students don't have to prepare any school supplies on their own. The school has everything ready for us. Isn't it just great to have a school that is so well equipped? I believe our parents are the happiest when they see us reading books. You're right, and our school also helps us in this matter as well. Yep, Poi Elementary has a really advanced library with great collections of books. This library has motivated more and more students to sit down and read. So, what do you have to say after looking around Poi Elementary? I can feel the love flow around here. Me too. I'm really proud to be a Poi Elementary student. So, shall we end our investigation for today? Yes! yes. Hooray! Hooray. 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 Our mini marathon continues, and now all the brains have gathered, ready to do battle. Okay, we're gonna start right now with the starter question. We gotta get somebody up there to get our battle going. Mm, here we go. Who was recently appointed the next Secretary General of the UN? If you know the answer, raise your hand and say super. Yes, number five, please stand up. Okay, monkey's going over to you with the mic. What is your answer? The answer is Ban Ki-moon. Yes, indeed. Very good. Fantastic. And let me ask you, do you have any favorite sports? Yeah. What? My favorite sport is basketball. You're very tall. I imagine you're very good at basketball. Yeah. Okay. Who would you like to do battle with? Choose a number. Number one. Number one. Come on out. Hi, number one. What would you like to be in the future? Future dream. Teacher? Future? Uh, I want to be a chairman of a company. A chairman of a company? Wow. Okay. Very serious about uh, leading a company. Here's a question for both of you guys. This performance recently received great attention for its ongoing success. Over 3 million people have seen this performance. This plays Korean traditional percussion, Tamanori rhythm with kitchen tools. What is the name of this non-verbal performance? Very famous performance. Yes, number five. The answer is Nanta. Yeah. Okay. Very good job. Actually, it's very exciting to see these guys beating the drums and doing whatever, making rhythmic sounds with the kitchen utensils. Did you actually see this, number five? No. Not, not yet. Yes. I've seen it. It's worth seeing. Okay, please choose a number. Mm, number nine. Number nine, come on out! Hi, number nine. What do you like to do in your free time? Mm, 
read the book. Read books. Do you read books every day or just once in a while? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. Well, good luck to both of you on this next question. Listen to the conversation between Callie and Robert. Hi, Robert. Oh, what's wrong? You don't look very well. I, I hear a buzzing sound. Well, what were you doing yesterday? I went to the swimming pool and I think I got water in my blank. Hmm. What part of Robert's body seems to be the problem? What's the problem? Went swimming. Oh, number five. The answer is ear. Yes. Very good. You like basketball, but you like swimming too? No. No? All right. Well, please choose another opponent. Number 12. Number 12. Hi, number 12. Mm, what's your favorite food? Pizza or something instead, instant food. Okay, instant food, pizza and stuff like that. Mmm, sounds delicious. I hope you like health food too. All right, here's a question for you guys. The Korean national flag, Taeguk-gi, is made up of a Taeguk mark and Gon Gon Kamli stripes. Gon Gon Kamli stands for water, fire, the ground, and the sky. Then, out of these four, what does Kon stand for? Wow. Number 12. Has three, sto three stripes. Three stripes? No, that's not it. You have a chance, number five? Yes? The answer is water. No, that's not it. The Korean national flag, Taeguk-gi, has these marks. Now, the kon, kon, kamni stands for water, fire, and the ground, and the sky. Of these four, what does kon stand for? Number five? The answer is sky. There you go. Very good. Number five has three points, our present leader. Okay, leader, please choose a number. Mm. Number 12. Uh, number I, 20. Number 20. <laughs> okay, number 20. Do you like to travel? Yes. Where have you gone? I went to Hawaii. You went to Hawaii? How was that? It was very good. Uh-huh. When I went to Hawaii, someone says, Hawaii, and I said, fine, thank you, and you? <laughs> oh, I made the mistake. I thought they said, how are you? Okay, here's a question for both of you. In the Shilla dynasty, this man became a hero for sweeping away the pirates from the Yellow Sea by building Cheonghaejin. He was called the Emperor of the Sea for dominating sea trade activities of the three. Number 20, what's your answer? Answer is Kim Yoo Shin. N number five. The answer is Zhang Bogo. Yeah, that's right. That's right, the monkey's happy, that means you're definitely right. Presently have four points, very good number five. Who's your next opponent? The number 15. Number 15. Hi, number 15. What would you like to be in the future? Um, I want to be a dentist. A dentist? Yeah. Wow, you have very nice teeth. Okay. And how many times do you brush your teeth a day? Three. <laughs> Three? That's the right answer. Okay, no points for that. Good luck on this question, though. Listen to the following sentences and figure out what they are describing. This is a small animal with a long tail. It lives in houses and fields. This is also a part of a computer. When you click it, it can start a program. Number 15. The answer is mouse. Very good. 
Very good indeed. Excellent job, dentist. And let's just check out who's standing in the number one spot. Of course, that is number five with four points. Very, very good. Let's see who will stand beside him and who will go into the next round. All right, number 15, please choose an opponent. I choose number 13. Number 13. Hi, number 13, how are you? I'm fine. Do you like music? I don't like music. Do you have a favorite singer? No. Can you play an instrument? No. All right, well, perhaps in the future. Right now, we've got to get to our question. This style of music started in New York City when DJs began to speak between songs. The meaning of this word is to chatter, to shout out. What is this musical form that delivers lyrics by chanting instead of singing? Yo, if you know the answer, press the button, go for it, yeah, yeah, go for it. Anybody? Oh, number 15. So answer is lap, rap. Yeah, that's right. Indeed, the answer is rap. You get in New York City, kind of talking between songs. Sometimes you get the rhyme going. Very good indeed. Who is your next opponent? I choose number two. Number two. Okay, number two. Hi. Do you have a favorite sport? Yes, I what like soccer. Do you have a certain position you like to play? Mm. Or favorite soccer player? Park Ji Song. Good choice. He's a great soccer player. Okay, here's a great question for you. This is an organ involved in digestion. It looks like a small pocket and it has lots of wrinkles inside. When we eat food, it stays in the pocket for four to five hours. What is this? Yes, number two. The answer is tamak. Very good. Yes. The answer is stomach. Okay, we gotta check out our leaderboard very briefly. Let's see, in the number one spot, we've got number five, who has four points. And with two points is number 15, you're very good. Will that change? We shall see, we shall see. Right now, we've got to get on with the game. Number two, please choose an opponent. I choose number 18. Number 18, come on out. Hi, number 18. Mm, do you like to travel? No. Where have you gone with your parents, maybe on the weekend, somewhere in Korea? Uh, Jeju-do. Jeju-do, wow. Did you enjoy it? Was it nice? Yes. Excellent, okay. Well, here's a question for you. This place is a city that means winner in Arabic. Located on the lower part of the Nile River, what city is the capital of Egypt where the pyramids and the sphinxes are? Okay. Looking for the name of a city. Capital of Egypt apparently means winner in Arabic. Located in the lower part of the Nile. That's where pyramids are and sphinxes. What city is this? Begins with the letter C. The capital of Egypt. Sphinxes, pyramids, exciting place. Any ideas? Five seconds. Okay, we gotta go to the floor, guys. If you know the answer, raise your hand and say super. Okay, number 16. What's your answer? The answer is Cairo. Yes, indeed. Very good job. Number 16 moves up and automatically has one point for giving the correct answer, which is indeed Cairo. OK, 16, please choose an opponent. I choose number 11. 
number 11. Hi, number 11. Mm, do you like art at all? No. No. Have you gone to a museum and enjoyed it? No. No. Okay. Well, we shall see what this next question is about. She is a female artist from the Joseon Dynasty who is good at drawing beautiful scenery, grapes, and insects. She is the mother of scholar Yi Yul Gok, who is number 16. The answer is Shin Saim Dang. Yeah. Very good. At the moment, number 16 is tied in second place. That's right, with number 15. Very close in numbers and exactly the same score. All right, number 16, please choose another opponent. I choose number 14. Come on out, 14. <laughs> okay, number 16. The answer is 30. The answer is 12. 12? The answer is 14. Yeah. That's right. What is this? Number 16. The, ans the answer is mushroom. Yes, indeed. Very, very good. Please choose an opponent. I choose number 10. Number 10. Hi, Miss Pink, how are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Good, do you have a favorite sport? No, do you like sports at all? No. Well, what do you like to do in your free time? Drawing. Drawing, okay, that's very nice. You like drawing. Excellent, okay. Here's a question, guys, get ready. Of the following, which sport doesn't use a net? One. Oh, very fast. Number 16, what's your answer? The answer is number three. Oh, oh. Okay, let's hear the hint all the way to the end. Oh, okay, number 10? The answer is number four. Okay, that's right. The answer is number four. The one that does not use a net is rugby. So what happened? Okay, let's look once again at our leaders, both tied at number four. Very exciting. And number 10, making her move. She's got a point on the board right now. Please, number 10, choose an opponent. I choose number seven. Number seven. <laughs> wow, very solid colors. We've got green and pink. Nice. Okay, here's your question. This is one of the traditional string instruments, Wangsanak, made during the Goguryeo dynasty. What is Korea's representative string instrument that has six strings? Number seven. A common go. Fantastic. Have you actually seen one of these things in person, or did you see it in a book? See in a book. In a book, okay, the books are helping. Number seven, make his move. Okay, number seven, please choose a number. I choose number four. Number four. <laughs> Hi, number four. Mm, where in tr Korea have you traveled that you really enjoyed? New Zealand. In New Zealand? Okay, outside of Korea, you enjoy traveling to New Zealand. Excellent. Okay, here's your question. This palace was built as an office for the king, but it also held ceremonies for national events. Built by King Tejo Lee Sung-gae in 1395, it is now one of Korea's most famous palaces. Number seven. Gyeongbokgung. If there are any viewers who have not yet gone there, I really recommend it. It's fabulous. Okay, number seven, please choose another opponent. I choose number eight. Number eight. Okay, number eight. Wow, 
we've got dark green and light green, and it's the battle of the greens. Here is the question for the greenies. These are a part of your body that forms the body structure. These are hard enough to support your weight. Calcium makes these stronger. What are these? Number eight. The answer is muscle. Oh, okay. Got a chance, number seven. We'll give you three seconds. Do you know the answer? Three, two, one. Okay, now, let me tell you, it's very important. It's part of our body, very, very hard. And drinking milk, getting calcium is very important to keep these strong. What are these things in your body? And they start with B. Number eight. The answer is brain. Ooh, no, that's not it. Number seven, your chance. Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna give you five seconds. Last hit, you can see them if you take an x-ray. Number seven. Uh, and sorry, spoon. Yeah. Well, good one. <laughs> good answer. Thank you. You made our monkey happy. Okay, please choose another opponent. I choose number 19. Number 19. Hi, number 19. Your leg's okay? Been sitting a long time? Yes. Been very patient. Thank you very much. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you like to read books? Yeah. Yes. What did you read? Mm. Do you remember? Drama, action book, mystery? Mm, mystery. It was a mystery. Ooh, well, then this question might be easy for you. I live on Baker Street in London. I'm tall and I have a hooked nose. My good friend Watson is my assistant. I'm the best detective in England. Who am I? Number seven. Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. That's right. Sherlock Holmes with his hooked nose. Uh, Kind of like this a little bit more hooked though. And his assistant is Watson. He solves mystery. The best detective in England, Sherlock Holmes. Very good. Well, it doesn't take a detective to tell that right now we've got three folks with four points each. We'll see if that changes. Please choose an opponent. I choose number 17. Come on up, 17. Okay, mm, it's free time and mom says you can choose an hour on the computer or an hour watching television. What do you choose? Computer. The computer, okay. So you like the computer. Very good. Here's your question. When we record a TV program at home, we use VHS tapes. In a VHS tape, H stands for home and S stands for system. What does the V stand for? Number 17. The answer is video. Very good. Excellent job. Okay, now we get the, the leaderboard's a little confusing. The only thing that's clear is that they all are tied with four points. You can see them kind of getting a little bit crowded over there with, uh, with four points apiece. Very good, guys. We gotta break that tie at some point. Right now, we go to number 17, and our last person sitting on the board, please come on out here. You've been very, very patient. Thank you very much. So what would you like to be in the future? I didn't decide it. Okay. Here is a question for both of you guys. Where can you hear an announcement like this? This stop is City Hall. City Hall. The exit is on the left. Okay, number six, what's your answer? The answer is Subway. Excellent! 
Okay. Stay there. Now, this is what's going to happen. We've got three gentlemen, each tied with four points apiece. That means you can choose one person to do, to do battle with. I'll choose number 16. Number 16, come on out. <laughs> this is what happens. They will do battle, and if number six continues to win, she'll continue to choose among the other players. Who do you do battle with? Right now, we've got to have a question. Here it is. Peter Pan is a story about the adventures of Peter Pan and his friends. When Peter first visited Wendy's house, he lost this. So he came back. Number 16. The answer is Cheto. Yes. OK, very good. Now. As you can see, number 16 is in the lead with five points. That means we have to have a tiebreaker among the other two guys. So, 16, go stand over there. Five and seven, come on back on the floor. Okay, you guys, you guys ready? Good luck to both of you. Here's the question. A war occurred in Korea in 1592, when the Japanese invaded. Thankfully, Admiral Lee Sun Jin led the country to victory with turtle boats. What? Number five. The answer is Im Jin Weran. Yes, it is. Very good. The tie is broken, so that means our two leaders, each with five points, will go on to the next round. Very good job. Our final round has come. It's time for head to head. Limited to three questions each. Who will be a super kid today? Contestant number five, Che Chung Shik. Chung Shik tells us his favorite subject is math. We truly believe Chung Shik will grow up to be a great biologist with his strong background in math. Contestant number 16, Che Jung Won. This computer whiz looks up to King Sejong as his role model. We hope you will become the king of the computer world one day. All right, all right. It's time for head to head. A little battle of two individuals, kind of a mini battle of the brains. Now, it wasn't too long ago when it came down to a tie-breaking question. We'll see what happens this time. It's always exciting. We have a couple of categories, and these two gentlemen came in tied with five points apiece. Now, I've asked before what uh, Chung Shik, the tall gentleman on my right, did in his free time outside. That's play basketball. Let me ask what you like to do inside. I like writing a poem, and I like to take care of Tarantula. Writing poems and taking care of his tarantula. Oof. Amazing. What a balance. What a mix. Is, is your tarantula j dangerous? Does it bite? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is this legal? Oh, okay. I won't worry. Now, how about you, um, Chongwon, on my left? What do you like to do in your free time? I'd like to play computer games. Computer games. And obviously, moms and dads are always making sure we don't play too long. How much time do mom and dad give you on the computer? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes every day? Yes. Even on the weekend? Yes. OK. Not too much time. We'll see how much uh, that helps or hurts you in this Round. Okay, let's check out our categories and Chung Shik will give the first question to Chung Wan. What are the categories? Travel, animal, person, character, sport, and star. What is your choice, Chung Shik? Sports. Sports. That is the category. The question will be given for Chung Wan to answer. Here it is. What sport comes to mind with these following words? Diamond, ace, WBC, double play. Okay. 
what's the sport that comes to mind when you see these things? I'll give you a little bit of time. How about five seconds? Go ahead, what's your answer? The answer is basketball. The answer is basketball? No, it's baseball. The answer is baseball. Of course, there's a double play in baseball. And uh, the ace, pitching ace, and of course, the diamond in the center of the field. Okay, not bad, don't worry. No points there, but you now have to choose a category for your opponent. Let's see the categories that are remaining. We've got travel, animal, person, character and star. What's your choice? Travel. Travel is the category. Let's hear the question, which Chungshik will answer. The following words have this in common. What is it? North, South, East, West. Treasure Island. Navigation. Kim Chung Ho. Oh, okay. What do these words have in common with travel? The answer is map. Yes, it is. That's right. Chung Chik, one point, very good, that's right. All have to do with map. Of course, the latest and greatest invention. Everybody has them, navigation. And north, south, east, and west, you can see that little drawing on a map. Okay, very, very good. One or nothing, still more questions to come. Please choose a category. We've got animal, person, character, and star. Star. Star is a category. Here is the question. What are the following words describing? Rotation, third, blue marble, global village. Give Cho on a little time to answer. He's thinking. Has to do with star or space. What is it? Okay. The answer is Earth. Yes, very good. Excellent job. That blue marble that we are on, spinning around is the Earth. That's right. And the Global Village, all referring to Earth. Excellent job, it's tied at one right now. Let's see what categories remain and what question will be going to Chung Shik. Okay, let's see the categories. Animal, person, and character. Chowan, please choose a category. Character. Character is the category. Here is the question. What does the following words have in common? Romania. Net, pointed teeth, garlic. The answer is Dracula. Yes! <laughs> that, is, that is the right answer, yes! Romania, neck, pointed teeth. Hmm, very good. I don't like garlic. Actually, I love garlic, but the answer was Dracula. Very good. Now in the lead, two to one. And let's see, you get to choose a category. If for any reason Chowan does not get this next answer, then our super kid is Chung Shik. Please choose a category. Person. Person is the category. Here is the question. The following words are all related to a person. Who is this person? Germany. Eroica Symphony. Ear, Fur Elise. Okay. Give him a little time. Tell one thinking it over about a person. Looking at the hints, we'll give five seconds. The answer is Hitler. Hitler? Ooh, no, it's not. Beethoven is the right oh. answer. Beethoven. So that means because he didn't get that, our super kid has been decided. Indeed, it is Chung Shik. Congratulations! Oh. 
Arirang is looking for natural-born super kids. Elementary schools that have what it takes can visit Arirang's homepage, www.arirang.co.kr, and click on the Super Kids link. We're waiting for you to seize the challenge. All right, the mini marathon today is over, and we have a winner. But let's uh, talk briefly with our second place guy. Did a very good job. Chongwon, how do you feel? Not so very much. Oh, what was the most difficult part today? The last, the last. Qu question about Beethoven? Yes. Well, there's uh, always the future. Lots of studying to go. Okay, and let's go to our winner today. Chushik, excellent job. How do you feel? Not bad. Not bad? Mom and dad, something you want to say to them? I love you, Mom. And how about uh, your dad? I love you. <laughs> and how about your tarantula? Um, I love you, but don't bite me. Good. Very good. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining us. We had a great time. And of course, next week, we'll have a great time, too. Until then, we say, see you later. Bye-bye.